Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. DLR hype! Welcome back. Um, in the last episode, I left you off here in the lounge. This is where we're doing the last puzzle with these drinks and such. And I told you I was going to take a picture of my uh, what I was going to draw to fucking solve this bartender journal thingy. But once I started writing down the thing, which I was literally just drawing, writing down a list of the different ones that are here. Now... I thought about it and I was like, wait a second, can you even combine colors with the types? So like, can you say, can you do a moon planet? Was it moon planet or was it, what was it? It was moon something, moon, moon island? No, moon planet, that was right. The mother likes moon and the mother likes planet. See how she says mother, she says she likes planet. And then the son says that mother and I like moon. Can you do moon planet combo? If you can't do moon planet combo, then that gives me the easiest answer. Like, I can solve this in, like, two seconds. Basically, all the other things fall... Wait, what? Ah, I'm not trying to talk to you. Oh, come on. That one was genius. I, I didn't even mean to talk to that word. I don't... I did clicked on the coaster, and she started talking. My bad. I skipped over what she said. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna dump these drinks out is what I'm trying to do here. So, dump that shit. No. Dump that shit. There you go. Yes, I think so. I'll toss this cocktail, then. No, why waste it? Drink the thing. I'd like to, but what if it's poison? See? I think it's better if I just pitch it. Agreed. Never drink liquid that you're not sure about. Well, now I have an empty glass. Well, that's what I wanted. That's what I was trying to do. I need three empty glasses. So basically, I would take a picture of what I was drawing, guys, but really it ended up not even mattering because as soon as I saw that there was two moons and then the moon and the planet overlapped, I was kind of like, well, then there's no puzzle here. As long as what I think is true is true, then it makes it the easiest puzzle ever because then, then the kid said moon twice kind of ruins the whole situation. So let's find out if I'm right. Let's, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try and combine moon with planet. Not blue, moon. Not blue moon, moon. Just moon. Where's moon at? Where you at, Moon? Shit got all mixed up. Moon? Moon. Here we go. No. Just put it down there. Moon it up. What? Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to fucking click the thing where you put it in the thing. Yeah, see, it won't let you. I tried to put it in there and put it on that side automatically. So you can't combine Moon with Planet. And thus, the puzzle is automatically solved. Because the kid said, okay, let's go back to the thing so I don't have to take, show me my picture. I'm here, I'm looking at what I wrote down, but really, I just have to go to here. So the kid says, I like Moon, Mom likes Moon. And my dad likes anything green. But then it says one of them's a liar. So if you ignore what the sun says, the rest of it comes together very easily. Um, the mom likes red planet. The father likes white island. And the son will like blue ocean. And there you go. Just look at it there. You can tell from the mother and father what they say. Damn child is a liar. What can I say? Freaking children. All right, so I don't need moon. I just put moon in there. I don't need it. Planet we need. Red planet? Is that what I said? Hopefully that's what I said. I think so. Red planet, white island, blue ocean. So where's the red one at? Alright, we'll make this one. Come on, we, need, we need to get a glass up in this bitch. Alright, that's one. Just turn my, my volume just a tad. Shit's kind of loud. Right, so we got the red planet. Got it. Now, let's get the white island out there. Yes, yes, please. Actually, let's grab the island one first, because the island one's harder to tell what it is. And then I can go to the white one easily, because I can tell what it is without having to go into the menu. All right, so that should be good. Let me get a glass. All right, white island, and then we'll need blue ocean. Kids like blue oceans. How boring. Shut up. Anyway, the other thing I need to do, um, Where's the ocean one? Just go back and look and see what order that they have to sit it. I have to set it down in the, um, you know, on the table. It said the order that they sit. I can put this here, and I need blue. Blue is here. All right, let's mix that. Ooh, what? No, no, no. Mix that shit. Freaking finicky where I press the X button. All right. So now that we have all three drinks, which I'm hopefully right on. Now we gotta make sure I have the clues right, or whatever, the p placements right. Father sat in the middle, mother left, son right, all right. Mother left, son right. Mother likes the, the son likes the blue one. 
father likes the white one and the red one's the mother. So red one there and the white one there. The coasters are red? It doesn't seem like anything else is happening. Red isn't usually good, is it? You think we did something wrong? I guess so. Uh, blue... Wait, did I read the clue wrong? Hold on. Sun right. Maybe it's the other way around? Hold on. Whoops. Maybe it's backwards. If you think about it, if they sit right to left, maybe it's backwards? Like, if, if from the bartender's perspective? Maybe that's what it is. Let's find out. Let's see if it's just backwards from the bartender's perspective. Because I feel like I have the drinks right. Yeah! I'm a genius. Awesome. Huh? It's blue this time. Yeah, they're all blue. There's something happening on the screen. Yeah, buddy. Got the other clue. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Huh? It changed. Now there are different shapes in different places. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. You remember this, Sigma? Leave it to me, baby. All right. We got the safe password. Nice. Cool. So, did I confirm which password was which? Um, password, uh, lounge. Okay, so, green is, shit, which one was which? Blue's the one that gets you out, green's the one that gives you the, 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 the gold file, right? Also, people were telling me don't read the gold files because they actually contain a lot of spoilers for stuff you're not supposed to know while you're playing the game. Why in the fuck would they give you shit during the game? That you don't want to use. That doesn't even. That's not even cool, man. Anyway, moon top corner, sun bottom two corner, middle and bottom. Let's 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 do it, man. Let's just be done with this room and move on, shall we? This is a safe, just like the one I saw in the AB room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So you think it opens the same way? Try to find out. All right, maybe I will. Moon, sun. Sun. Confirmed. Complete. We did it. Yep. Awesome. It opened. Good job, Sigma. Hmm. Well done. Give me them papers. Bunch of stuff. Let's see. Oh, shit. There's a map. We got a map? It says Floor A in the corner. Yo, mapness. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We can take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next, we've got a card. Two cards, actually. Wait, did I open the wrong one first? I think I did. Do you think these key cards could be for the AB rooms? Well, it does say Ambidex Room right on it. See, it says Ambidex Room right on them. Yeah, you're probably right. Now we can get in the AB rooms. And that means we can start getting more bracelet points. Once we've got nine, then we can open the number nine door and get out of here. At least that's what the rabbit said. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AV rooms are. We can go back the way we came, but that door is locked. I think the answer to that is in the same. See? Read this note. Sure. Oh, god damn it. It starts off immediately with a stupid pun! <sighs> Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that, too. Once you open them, even a... I... <sighs> Even I care it keep you from going in and out of them. Any color bracelet can go through them as many people as you like. Oh, okay. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated the chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it warrant let you back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So in other words, once we get out of here, we can get back to the warehouse right? Yeah, seems like it. So that means this key here is the last piece of the puzzle. Indeed. Alright, so the key will get us out of here, I assume? You did. That key is just what we need. Now we need to get out of here. Okay, so I was worried about putting the codes in the wrong order, but I forgot that you usually get like a thing to finish solving the puzzle in the box. So I don't have to worry about putting the puzzles or the codes in, in the wrong order, which is what I was concerned about, but it's not, it is now not a concern. All right, let me get the other password in my head because I didn't memorize it. Uh, sun, moon, star. Got it. That was the lounge, right? Yes, yeah, sun, moon, star. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. All right, uh, 
sun, moon, star. Booyah! That should get us the gold file. Hell yeah. Booyah. Huh? I guess there's another password that can open it too. So it would seem. You found the gold file. Don't read it though, because apparently it's got spoilers. <sighs> okay, I won't. And if you think about it, the first gold file I read did, did, did tell us a bunch of shit that we learned literally like the, in the later part of the episode, which was interesting to me. All right, so now that we've done that, we should be able to put the, the lock and the key in the hole, I'm assuming. So put the key in the hole. It says lock. Okay, I'm gonna put the key in. You ready? I keep telling you, you don't have to ask every single... I'm not asking you. I'm asking Luna. Oh, I'm, um, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, uno. Open, baby. Choo! You found it. I'm so good at the puzzle. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. All right, now what? More puzzles? Let's find out. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? Oh, shit. I almost forgot I don't have to read when we're not in the puzzle. All right, yeah. Awesome. I don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Who is it? It's my other homies, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, at least three of them. Looks like Alice, Clover, and Kay. Oh, shit, it's everyone. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. It's everybody. All right, cool. Oh, they did it. What's with, the, what's with the matching poses? What's going on here? What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. A prowl like that? Let me see the map. Oh, sure. You know what I didn't do? I didn't change my freaking text speed. I meant to do that. Fuck. I gotta figure out which menu I can do that in. Mm hmm. Damn, did we really go that far? So if we're all in the same place. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I get it. All three routes end up here. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Damn right. Ain't got no time for your shit, Tenmo. Riveting so far. Black screen elevator, dude. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What the? Oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them, too. Uh oh. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. So now we got some RGB action. So we can't mix colors now, can we? These chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Indeed. Lock, huh? Must you always try? That's how it goes, I guess. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh, no, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. What? The numbers changed? Oh, yeah, the time left. Oh, that number. Oh, okay. Looks like two hours? Six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Huh? Did some it kind say of note? something like. Supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. I wonder if it's like an extra set of rules that we have to combine all three of our sets of rules to make the full rules. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. 
Here are a few more rules. Once you've stopped the door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I can... <laughs> I cannot keep you from going in and out of it. Any color bracelet can go through them, as many people as you'd like. But, you have to escape before you can take advantage of the free rain rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it, puzzle beyond a month. Okay, got it. If that's true, then we can go all the way back. We then we can go all. We can all go back the way we came, get into the warehouse. I don't Sorry. think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Exactly. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. Indeed. We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Ah, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <laughs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Alright, fine. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so we're going all the way back, assuming that it works. Let's find out, shall we? It's interesting that we can go through any room as we want if the puzzles are solved. It's very interesting. But I guess it's kind of the same how 999 was. You could go back as long as you've opened all the doors. You can go in and out of them at will, pretty much. Lounge, we go and back, back to the lounge. So we back, but back, going back through the lounge. We're back, we're back. So, this is the lounge. Indeed, it is. Also, why is this little ass girl wearing no clothes, man? Give her. She's wearing less clothes in this game than she did in the last game. What the heck, man? It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. Some of your favorite scotch. Oh, ho. Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when are they buddies? Or have they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary game, and if Quark was calling Ten Yoje Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close, too. Just how many of these people know each other already, or knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But, are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. What? Rare old factory full of earth metals? What does that have to do? What? What are we talking about? Talking about stuff on the outside? Like, have we not even tried to figure out who each other is? Well, not with that we had a lot of time to start off. But if we really have to wait two more hours for the next set of doors, we may have the time to discuss who each other is. Anyway, let's do it. Two Milkmen Go Comedy, dude. Two Milkmen Go Comedy. That should have been the first episode name. Oh, that would have spoiled it even easier than anything else. Anyway, he's bored. You're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, oh, for... Yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. This is not how his voice sounded before. What the fuck? So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. There you go. That sounds a little bit closer. First, he was sounding a little down, like he was devilish there for a second. Like, like he was, like was going to start going demon mode. Alrighty. Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? Yep. We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. 
But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. Okay. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> it's a game of betrayal, then. What's the notary game? Ah, oh, that refers to the full enchilada. The notary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Makes sense? Like hell. Shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Theo? American little bastard. <laughs> Well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Ah, uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Kind of like the voice actor for this, because she's starting to mess with the like accents and stuff, just messing around. It's kind of like what I do when I'm just talking. Anyway, K Quark and myself each give one card to Luna, Alice, and Ted Miyoji. Then we headed into the A-B rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who'd go into which door, and Fi and I sat, found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Yeah, he said it didn't really matter. But what is the Ambidex game? We're gonna find out. Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head into? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. <sighs> game of Betrayal. It did say that in the opening, like, movie. I just didn't know what it meant. The Ambidex gate has been opened. Indeed. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? The hell? What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Yeah, fuck if I know either. Dead bodies now? Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Yeah, right. Hey, guys, guys, right over, get over here. We found someone. There's a, there's a lady over here. She's unconscious. I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Oh, my. Blood! She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen to at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I, f I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look! Somebody get Quark out of here! Uh, okay, C come on, Quark. Then, she's... Yeah, she's not breathing and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. It was part of them? What? You stabbed somebody with your finger? I'm just kidding. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, and they might be able to stab someone in the heart. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fucking robot guy that's with us? What are you suggesting? <laughs> what are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Then don't say it so seriously. You serious hope? Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys. Let's go. Wow. So, matter of fact, let's just go do an autopsy, because, you know, that's so our expertise. Is it? Is someone here a fucking coroner? I guess we're going to find out. Anyway, D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he 
didn't just consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Tenmyoje only stared. Oh shit, does he know her? His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite, it was more like he was staring toward us, a smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. Holy crap. He knows her, dude. He knows her! It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tim Yoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movements slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Interesting. He knows her. Did he do it? Does he just know who she is? Does he know who did it? What does he know about her? He knows something, but what? Guess we'll worry about it right now. He knows something. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. <laughs> we set her down carefully on the infirmary bed as we were afraid she might break. Okay. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just gonna wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Nobody wants to go out that way. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... Uh-oh. Don't you dare tell me you're a coroner, you... You cutesy little beezy. What? I have a medical license. Oh, okay. I can live with that. She looks like she could be a nurse. You're a nurse? Yeah. No... Wait, what? You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? I would not have guessed doctor. Nurse would have been my guess, but sure. Fine, Dr. Luna it is. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice Clover and I examined this entire room. Huh. Dummy. So, you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Then let's do it. Let's figure it out. Although we're wasting time, anyway. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female, estimated age 65 to 75 years, diagnosis deceased, cause of his death, insang- ex- wait, exsanguination? Exsanguination? Doesn't that mean like... Oh, okay, never mind. Estimated time of death, 3-4 to four hours, damage trajectory, weapon entered through 4th intercostal piercing heart, wounded characteristics, Clean, continuous, one sharp, one blunt. There's two angles of the wound. One sharp, one blunt. Interesting. Got all the lengths and widths. Based on the characteristics described by above, there's a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Like a knife? Huh? Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Do I really gotta be the dummy dumb? Oh my it god. It means a tool of some sort. <sighs> Really? A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. <laughs> Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. No, we're just gonna say you could have totally wielded that knife just like any one of the other people here, you son of a bitch. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, the one farthest. Oh, to the that's left. the one they came out of too. This Before is true. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. Very true. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but there was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if he was telling the truth, 
nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's the thing. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of the game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure. But I would assume so. I mean, he did say if we fail, it's all punishable by death, right? Because of the fucking... You get injected with the killing... The killing poison stuff. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. What? Whoa, what was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Yup. And until we follow his little instructions, he's probably not going to say a goddamn word. Alright, we've already wasted a half an hour of the 45 minutes, so we need to hurry up and get up in there and put some votes in and fucking vote somebody off the island? Is that how this works? I don't know what's going to happen right now. Fucking Survivor is what this is, I guess. Anyway, we're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. What, you think she's going to fuck... There's going to be another one? Uh, wait? Five? Where'd you go? Up here. Up? Whoa! What the hell is she doing? Good question. What is she doing? Hello? He must be really desperate to get high. Whoa. Um... I think I read that wrong, but you know, she might want to be getting high right now, you know what I'm saying? Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Oh, oh, it was, oh, it was supposed to be a joke. Ha ha ha, funny, funny joke. Best time to make jokes when we're all about to die. Whatever. What are you up to, what are you up to up here anyway? Everybody's already gone into the AB room. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. And that is? This thing. Remember it? The door. The hatch. Try opening it. It's impossible. No luck. Won't budge. Mm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. You're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's Kay, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Alright. Five minutes remain 
until Apodex Game Poland closes. Here we go, vote, man. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Uh, he's a rabbit? Uh, 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 there's so many bad jokes here. More bad jokes than I, my brain can handle right now. Look, there's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. Oh, God. The Amidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, press the start screen, or please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. Okay. Interesting. Well, looks like there's no going back now. Astute observation. So have we! We've got some questions for you, Zero. Who has that old... Who was that old... Whoa. Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? All? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof. But B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O. I need you to shut up. There isn't much time. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff, or the game will end before I'm done. So, no more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? You just have to wait. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AP game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opinion. But, it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. Now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually very easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the traumatic doors. Okay. Example, so we're against Sydney Luna. I got it. Luna and went through the magenta door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Moon. And it goes the other way, too. Moon's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Fever's enemy will be... <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, this is freaking... <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking Chris Jericho, dude. This is Chris. It's it's Chris Jericho. He did it, dude. He did it. 1999 Chris Jericho. That's who this is. Or 1998 Chris Jericho, the one who just mispronounces people's names because he's he has fun with it. That's something I would do too. <laughs> and Bio and Quirk's enemy will be Ten Me Oldie. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? I don't know. How does this work? After all, if you choose ally. Then they're your ally. What? what? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Please First, do. I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your VP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this empty chart. Okay. The plus and minus are from your point of view. Oh, okay. Okay. Choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two VP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two VP, and they get three. Holy moly, okay. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's get him and stew him with some titers. <laughs> the third choice 
is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally this time. You're the one who gets 3D. They're the one who loses. Yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah, we get it. That serves them right out, huh? I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray. And so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you guys are losing anything. Absolutely zero chance of losing Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation. I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Well, let me explain. Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay. I think I understand. Hey, I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more. But... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! <laughs> Hey, no. wait. I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? <laughs> it is time. I won't wait, can't wait. Press the button. Okay. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, you better hurry up and choose. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. Have a nice trouble. Okay. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. What? Wait, what? Why? You're kidding, right? You really want to betray Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Uh, one? What kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So... So wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game What am I going to choose? I was just going to choose Ally because, like, it's the first one. We might as well just stick to Ally and, you know, be nice and then see what happens from there. But motherfucking bitch is already like, Betray, 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 quick! Just press the damn button. You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or... How about when you found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you... Are you... Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so! I'm not gonna move until you give me some answers. If I don't do anything, it's just vote ally for us. It'll just vote ally for us anyway? Oh, really? So let's hear it. H how do I know that? What are you hiding? What's it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game. I'm probably still gonna pick Ally if it's gonna make me choose. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Do I actually get to four, choose or three, two. When your BP hit zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. Boom. Ally. I'm still picking Ally. Vote has been recorded. Please wait. I like that it still Round let me choose. One of the Ambidex game <laughs> has been completed. But how does she know that? Results will be displayed in the I warehouse. still picked Ally, I don't care. I wanted I, I I get the feeling we already can see where all these things are gonna branch off, and this is probably gonna be just like nine 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 where I have to do all the goddamn branching paths Thank to show you everything. For your participation. Indeed. Ambidex gates now opening. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Here we go. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Ten Myoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? What? Don't huh? play dumb. You chose Ally. Yeah. Fuck you. Didn't How you hear that? me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. Oh, I heard. But let me guess. If Luna picks Ally, you could shut your mouth. 
And then if she doesn't, well, whoops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. A whole second after the, before the deadline. How could you expect me to think anything through like that quick? It would have taken like half a second just to process what you said. No, you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. Oh goddamn! We're gonna have this conversation again. We talked about this way too much in 999 already. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Uh huh. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Uh uh. I clicked so fast I didn't even get to think. Well. Am I wrong? What, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say hypothetically that you're right about that crisis, uh, this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? Let me be straight with you. Your shit is whack, like hella whack, bro. Who wrote this? <laughs> what? I mean... You just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name, or how if your BP hits zero, you die. You told me you don't know why, but more and more I'm starting to think that you're lying to me. Or you've been lying to me. Yo, yeah, bitch. What's up? <laughs> Yo, Sing what up? I know! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. <sighs> Okay, so one one thing I'm going to just speculate on real quick is I think now that we've done one round of Ambidex game, that the pairs and the solos are going to switch. That's going to make things more interesting if that happens. I hope that's what happens. We'll have to wait and see, though. Anyway, we're about to announce the results. Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Uh -huh. Maybe it's different this time. We shall see. We shall see, huh? This time? Wait, what? She did say this time. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Anyway, hey, fight. Hold on. Shit. 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 Good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock. Oh, I'm ready to rock, baby. Let's go. Ambidex game. <laughs> the risk game. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, we got it. We got it. Somebody got betrayed. Dude, man. Damn, Alice and Tenmyoji got owned. Yo, Alice got owned? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Wow. That's interesting. What a result screen that is. So Alice and Tan Miyoji are fucked. Wow. Dio and Quark went with Betray and so did Kay and Clover. <sighs> well, we're slightly behind the other three, four, whatever, four, those other two groups. Let's see if the rematch, where they rematch everything, actually happens. I think that the pairs and the solos are going to change. I really do. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Damn. Thanks, Luna. Oh, no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. Except for that's not what everybody did. I believed in you and Fi. That's nice. When Luna glanced away, I threw Fi what could only be described as a smug grin. Rather frustratingly, she didn't respond, only turned away unperturbed. I was about to press the issue when I heard Ten Miyoji's voice. Uh oh. What happened? No, no! It wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! He told me he'd pick Ally! He, he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit. Oh god, here we go. Wh what? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. You wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure. Cause I'm his opponent on this one. That's true. He's a little kid. He could totally be playing the innocent game. He totally could be. So I can I can believe that this is true. I think we should betray. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old bar here and leave? 
I've got a plan. See, don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. Yeah, you're lying! I never should have trusted you! Dio! You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid, keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa, you believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <sighs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Hmm. I I'm, I'm, I'm more leaning toward because it'd be more interesting that the kid is actually fucking, you know, he's plotting. That's more interesting to me, so I'm hoping that's actually the case. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. It looked as though another argument had taken place while Quark and Dio were fighting. Whatever it had been about, it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Okay. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Nailed it! Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 VP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah. I and guess you got double, a point. double dumb, Zero. Double dumb. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Okay. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close them. Okay. Time to go do some more puzzles. Gotta go through those other the doors, Amber right? Dex gates have closed. Round two of the Amberdex game will be the moon round. Moon round? Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Okay. Oh, the other ones had suns on them. I didn't even pay attention to what symbol was on there. Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeed. Now, you'll have to look cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. No. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Of course. You could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and back to points. After all, if there's no money with 9 BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round 3 and round 4. And round five, round 100, round 2000, you might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. I can't wait. Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. You? Oh my god, you're gonna do that game? Fine, you stupid rabbit. There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people exactly? Yeah, so? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not 100% true. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Mm -hmm. 
Explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two rooms. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. Does, do these things even come off? No, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door in escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? He's gonna tell us we're gonna... It's death. Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, 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 Theo. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, oh, well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Nailed it. <laughs> a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. When someone dies on a TV show. Yep. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Oh. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away, the lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelet. So off. what you're telling me is if I fall in love real quick, then my bracelet will come off. Sick, dude. I need to just I just need to find somebody who can make my heart stop. Quick. Somebody make my heart stop. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. Oops. I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AV game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten me on the or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> Might be both of them. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose VP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. <laughs> you mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Siggy. Full mark. Yes, full mark. Sweet. So, Vi had been right. But how had she known before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one VP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? <laughs> what this the? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew, right? Huh? Right, Fido? <laughs> it's not like anybody else knew. Y yeah, I guess so. God damn it took a moment to go over everything in my head. The AV game will continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There are no rules about how many people could go or could pass through the number 9 door. That means that meant it was possible for everyone to escape. 
The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so long as you had the right bracelets. Bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you love the building or your heart stop. If your BP is zero, then you don't have to activate killing you. <laughs> uh oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! Ah, and I bet you they switched pairs and solos too. The colors changed, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Mine's cyan well, now. And now it says pair. So we pair with Alice. Alright, interesting. Mine too. Wait, I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. Yep, now you're riding solo, girl. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Yo. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, yeah, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. Oh, you got paired with the kid. Interesting. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow, and it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AV gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's totally random. Yeah, liar. No rules or anything. That's that there's that's some bullshit. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you Adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did you really think I was going to cry? No, but I love that you at least pretended to. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! What the? You fucking dick! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're a fucking dick. You heard me. You mad? Oh. You mad, bro? Goodbye. Oh my god, dude. This game. This game is memeing it up so hard. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. I hope so. Have a nice tragedy. Whew, okay, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good one. Now what? When do I stop? I'm trying to find a good place to stop, but I don't know when that might be. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. That sounds gross. I don't really want to think about that. Um, so what happens now? We still got a while until the chromatic doors open. All right, time to learn more about each other. 42 minutes. Yeah, it looks like about 42 minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Indeed. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? No siree. There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. <laughs> had I started a fight with a frightening, mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group server? No. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes. But 
It was just the one time. And she was the one who went after me. <laughs> anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was some reason I'd been abducted and put in the nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I was what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. Okay, they're there. Sounds good. Gonna go back to those memories, okay. December 25th, 2028, early morning California desert. The moon was beautiful. I'd just finished writing a paper due that day and was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas day. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three more reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use the one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I'd got was that one cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Dude, you got broke up with by email like that? Ouch. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning to go to. Somehow I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would be a really good idea. Probably, probably smart to stay home and write a paper. At any rate, I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, and perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chugged to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. I slid into my car, stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries, twisted the key. Nothing happened. Huh? I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again! On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal and fell silent. God damn it! You stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Yup, you got gassed. Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I clawed at the door and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! Ah. What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. Misfires? <laughs> that was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as I, as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. And there he is. Who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I, in, uh, the more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. Well, that's not good. The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. Okay. And here I woke. When they opened again, I was in the AB room with Phi. Alright. Okay. Oh my. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. And this is where we stop. I was going to keep going, but you know what? This is the perfect place to stop when we have a choice. Next time on Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward, we'll pick one of these areas and we'll go talk to people. This is probably the moment where we're going to start learning more about everybody. I don't know if we get to go and explore all the places. I hope we do. I hope this isn't actually a choice. I hope this is one of those moments where we just get to talk to everybody and learn things. Um... Yeah. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about from the very beginning of the video, and I kind of forgot, was Alice. Um, I did mention that I thought she was the, or, you know, reminded me of the Egyptian lady that we found at the very end of, of 999. The th problem is I forgot her name was Alice, or All Ice, rather. Um, 
I kind of forgot about that, so it makes sense that her name is Alice. Is it actually her, though? I'm still, I still question whether or not it's actually her, but it makes sense that it would be her, I guess, based on that story from the first game. But yeah, other than that, we haven't really done anything else to confirm or deny or connect anything specifically. So we'll just leave it at that for now. I don't want to speculate too much more than that. And on the next episode, we'll do some uh, talky talks like we did today. Well, more talky talks. Today we found out more about how this game works. It's going to be interesting how this ally and betray thing goes. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace!